What's up, Patriots, and happy Sunday. Not too bad today. Raining earlier. Nice little change from the hot weather. But yeah, I'm taking some trash out of the dumpster right now. I know, it's super exciting. The main focus for today is on a word that a lot of people know exists, but a lot of us don't really feel comfortable dealing with. Because it's never fun. And that word is suffering. Now, what does suffering actually mean? Well, this was the focus of our sermon today. And it was really good. We dug into Hebrews, really dissecting that word. I'll keep this Sunday sit-down pretty simple, pretty to the point. Long story short, suffering has been a routine thing for me. It's nothing new, but the way I have interpreted the word suffering and accepted it has changed dramatically. So what's the point of suffering? What does it mean? Well, if you are not a follower of Christ, if you're not a Christian, it can mean something completely different. And it's a horrible thing if you're not a Christian. And if you are a Christian, it takes time to really understand the word of suffering. Here's how Hebrews explains it. Whenever you endure, whenever you suffer, that is God molding you. That is God sculpting, chipping away all of the things that do not glorify Him. All the things that are keeping you away from being more like His Son, Jesus Christ. So every moment that you suffer, it's Him disciplining you, it's God chipping away at you, it's God molding you, hammering you, improving you into someone better. Someone who can better fulfill his ultimate plan and his glory. To keep it simple, as a Christian, we suffer because that molds us into someone who can better glorify God. Now, of course, in the moment, it does not feel good. <laughs> and sadly, a lot of Christians fall victim to the prosperity gospel, where, you know, if you follow Christ, then you'll get everything you want, and everything will be happy and joyful. That's not the case. But use this as encouragement. God disciplines the ones he loves. God puts those he truly loves as his chosen through struggle, through suffering, just like our Savior went through immense struggle and suffering, more than we can comprehend. God is not giving us his wrath. He's not giving us his judgment. He already put all that wrath on his son, who took on the ultimate sacrifice and conquered the death for our sins. It does not mean that when you choose to be a Christian that you walk with Christ. It does not mean your life's going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be harder. You will suffer. But through that suffering, you will gain something that's more important than endurance, more important than strength, more important than, oh, I don't know, determination. You're going to gain wisdom. And through every moment of suffering, you will get one step closer to being more like Christ. Now, is it possible for us to be exactly like Christ? No, because we're broken, flawed human beings. But the way I look at it, every moment that I go through suffering, I remind myself, God's putting me through this for a reason. I'm enduring this for a reason. And while I may not know what all those reasons are, the biggest challenge is knowing 
But even though I'm in the storm, I'm still going to glorify my God. I'm still going to praise His name. Why? Because He disciplines the ones He loves. He molds the ones He loves. And so I take that as encouragement to help me keep going. And so if you guys are going through that same thing, take heart and know that God loves you. And everything he's putting you through is because he loves you. And all that being said, patriots, have a wonderful day. Have a happy Sunday. I know this is Sunday set down is a little bit different than usual, um, but it needed to be a little bit more real, if that makes sense. I will continue to upload uh, CV in the field videos. I will continue to do these Sunday sit downs. Oh, look at Oh, yeah. Take care of that. Um, but yeah, right now, it's a little tenuous time, but we'll be okay, as always. I'm not going anywhere. So, love you guys. Never surrender, never submit in this constitution event. Have a wonderful Sunday. Signing out.